Good morning, folks. We've got two fantastic articles to hit today, one on a critical piece of the climate forcing picture we have touched on before, and one on the magnetic interactions of the galaxy with our solar system. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. It was another relatively quiet day as the larger sunspots are turning through the far side, solar wind and geomagnetic conditions remain stable, and stable also pretty well describes the plasma filaments. We had a couple small pops and surges at the minor active regions facing Earth, but nothing major. The two biggest filaments, those dark snake-like ropes you see here, are crossing through central heliographic longitudes today. Looks like the ones coming behind them are a bit smaller. Let's go right ahead to the science journals. We've got a fantastic confirmation here of the D-region ionospheric impact from interplanetary shock waves from our star. The D-region is the lowest layer of the ionosphere sitting right on top of the atmosphere, and it is the main excitation point for the global electric circuit up and down currents that impact clouds, pressure cells, precipitation, and surface temperatures. As we have gone over before, the two main ways solar storms impact the ionosphere is through the front side compression and penetrating Van Allen belt particles, and via the penetrating electric fields of the polar region which trigger the aurora, but which also send equatorward traveling waves to low latitude. This study focuses on the penetrating electric fields of the space weather which impact the D region. Veteran observers, you can just read the headline, the title of this article, and know what it's discussing. A strong magnetic region is swept over the Voyager spacecraft. And watching these authors guess at a cause from inside the solar system is truly a bit comical. It only takes CMEs from the sun a few weeks to a couple months to reach interplanetary space, so their guess that the 2015 to 2017 space weather is what causes the 2020 to 2023 spike in magnetism makes no sense. Folks, this was a component of the galactic current sheet, the galactic magnetic fields, and as we've guessed from the planetary evidence already, that sheet is here. It is having effects on the entire solar system and is going to eventually trigger the solar micronova. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the galactic current sheet, the solar micronova, and all those planetary effects with the resources listed below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.